I don't know what we're going to find. I'm Mark Robinson. I'm the principal investigator of the Shadow Cam experiment, and I'm a professor at Arizona State University. Well, it's a fancy camera flying around on a satellite around the moon. Where LROC uh, works to get pictures of the lit up regions of the moon, Shadow Cam is designed to look at the areas that don't get any light at all, the permanently shadowed regions. You have a camera on board a spacecraft 100 kilometers above the surface, moving at a mile a second. And you have to take an image of something that's not exposed to any sunlight at all. So, you know, if you've ever taken images in the dark with your, your camera, you know, it's, it's very hard to get a really good image. And so ShadowCam is specially designed to be able to take images in those extremely challenging conditions to be able to get the information that the science community needs to really explore what are in these permanently shadowed areas. So ShadowCam, it has a much more sensitive detector. It's 200 times more sensitive. So that allows us, as we fly over these permanently shadowed craters, to take very detailed images using light reflected off of nearby surfaces into the shadow. And by doing that, we will be able to now understand what is in these craters. We are very much intrigued about the amount of like, you know, water ice or frost or patches of ice, or maybe in, there, are, there are research papers which talk about thick ice sheets on the moon and things like that, right? So there's this huge anticipation of that there will be some frozen areas on the moon. And there might just be and it's highly possible that shadow cam may capture them. But it might also be that we do see for ourselves that there's nothing like that there. My name is Prashun Mohanty, and I'm the deputy PI for the shadow cam instrument, uh, which is on board the KPLO spacecraft, also known as Danuri in the local Korean language. And it's now orbiting the moon and it's taking pictures of the permanently shadowed regions. The ShadowCam uh, instrument was jointly developed by Arizona State University and Million Space Sciences Systems, the guidance of NASA's funding. So we got the first image down, and it was beautiful. There were, it was in focus. The exposure was exactly, you know, within a few percent of what we had anticipated it to be. We'll do the science bit over the next six months to a year, right? But it works. And that's always incredibly stressful on any you know, of these missions. Is, is it going to work or not? Because now, I was just about to say, now the fun part begins. But, you know, despite all of the trials and tribulations of building the instrument, getting it on the spacecraft and launching it, that's fun too. So the second phase begins. Let's just put it that way, right? Is the science phase begins. We get the data and it's in, a, in a raw form, and we pass it through a series of pipelines, we call them. So it's like a series of computer scripts that analyze the data and render it into an image that can actually be viewed. There's different rovers and landers being planned to go to the South Pole, specifically to investigate permanently shadowed regions. And so having an imagery data set allows you to identify uh, boulders and craters and you know come up with a safe traversability plan. So there's kind of a, a wide spectrum of uses for anyone who's interested in the South Pole of the Moon. It will answer some questions and it will raise many more questions than it answers. I can guarantee, that's the one thing I can guarantee. But I don't know which questions it's going to answer.